What's up everybody, my name is Danger Doug, and today what we're gonna be doing is talking about a little bit of an issue here and there for audio problems that has come up in OBS. And not too long ago, during one of my streams here and there, a couple of community members brought to my attention that as I was playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, that the audio had been in fact echoing here and there in the background. Now for extra context guys, I was actually playing the game on my Xbox One and kind of using my Elgato capture card, the HD60 standard, and running it through my PC here and there through OBS in order to actually capture the game footage. And as I was streaming, a lot of people had actually pointed out to me that the the audio was kind of echoey in the background, especially so with a lot of the voices that were going on here and there in the um, actual gameplay itself. Maybe not so much like the background music or like the background noise, for instance, but at the same time, like it was distracting enough to the point where I felt like I really wanted to put out a video like this just in case a lot of other people were encountering the same problem. But okay, first up, let's actually show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. So here's the game footage of a lot of the echoey kind of distortion in the background here and there. And we're going to see exactly like, okay, is this the same kind of thing that you guys are encountering? This is an example of what I was encountering. Man, Man you, get you get tired, tired pretty, pretty easy, easy, don't you? you? <laughs> I, guess I guess I can, I can carry, carry you if you, if you want. want. Now, I think he's only supposed to be like four years Daddy. old here, if I'm not mistaken. Proxman Joe, correct me if I'm wrong. He's like four. Yay, look how high I am! Hey, hey you perked right up. up. Sounds pretty crappy, doesn't it? Yeah, I felt so too. And I thought it was distracting enough to the point where I'm like, okay, Got to put out a little solution YouTube video for this one, and here's how you solve this problem. Let's take a look. Okay, as soon as you get your Elgato capture card all set up, and you've also got it as a source in OBS, the first thing that you want to do is click on this little gear icon, and then you want to go to Advanced Audio Properties down at the bottom. By default, all of your audio monitoring should probably read monitor off. Now, essentially put, when you're trying to also hear the game audio here and there, if you're plugged your headphones into your PC, monitor off is not going to allow you to actually hear the gameplay, so Essentially, you want to change that, but change it on the Elgato setting. Now, one thing that I was encountering was that if I turned it to monitor and output, um, essentially, that was what was causing my problem with the echo and stuff, because apparently the um, output was also going into, along with the desktop audio, which was also picking up a lot of the game audio. So essentially put uh, with this one, um, you want to change it over here to monitor only mute output. Now what this is going to do is essentially it's going to allow you to monitor what's going on with the activity from the noise coming from the Elgato capture card, um, but essentially it's going to mute its output. So essentially um, you're going to be able to hear the game audio and um, the broadcaster is going to pick it up, but it won't be encoding two things at once with your desktop audio or your Elgato capture card. So that's, that's the setting that you really want to use. And then close out of it and then you're done. From here, you should be able to hear your game audio too, and you should also be able to um, have it encode just fine uh, with no problems to your stream or anything else. But one thing I also want to point out is there's a couple of other ways to troubleshoot this too, just in case um, that's not the primary issue. The first thing you want to do is come up to File and then go to Settings, and then go to your Audio tab. Now, usually what I do is I also disable everything else except for the desktop audio, which I have running into my speaker headphones. Same thing with the monitor device. I mean... By default, it's probably um, just coming up with the default setting, but you can switch it to speaker headphones um, and see if that actually fixes the trick. But either defaults or speaker headphones, whatever you're running it through, should be just fine. Um, but keep in mind that uh, for um, speakers, if you're using those, um, they might actually get picked up by your microphone here and there too, so that might be another cause of your echo here and there. So just be mindful if you are in indeed streaming, it's very advisable to use actual headphones for this operation. And that's it. That essentially solved my problem. Here's what the audio sounded like after we were done with that quick fix. What is it? It ain't no meteor. Okay, can you guys hear it? Is it echoing or is it not echoing? I'm not sure. I don't think it would be echoing at this point, but if it is, let me know. It's okay now? Oh, it is okay now. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. I was a little worried there for a hot second because I'm like, wait a second. It shouldn't be doing that, but still. I think it's normal now. No echo. Oh, thank God. Just Dude, guys, we figured this the out. Holy crap. The planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? It's okay. Sweet. Awesome. Dude, let's go, you guys. A power level of only five? As you can see during this clip here and there, I asked my community for feedback here and there as soon as we get this thing going and try to troubleshoot this thing. But essentially put, you don't really want to do this while you're live, but at the same time, 
if you have to actually ask your community, please do so here and there because ultimately they are the ones who are getting this experience. But wait, I do have one more quick fix. This is a common problem here and there that I hear a lot of new streamers running into as far as OBS is concerned and a lot of the echoey type of feedbacky loop stuff. Here's another solution I want to show you guys. Okay, so going over to Twitch really quick, we do see a stream preview window over here. Now you do have a volume control selector over here towards the bottom where you can actually change the volume that's going on on your stream preview window. Now that's actually going to show, and again, I have no idea why they did this, but at the same time, it's still there. It's going to show a preview of your stream over there as it's encoding over here from your broadcaster. And I believe the delay over there is about like... I want to say maybe like a second, maybe two or something like that, but it's noticeable enough to where it'll actually like pick up an echo, especially if you're running the desktop audio um, source in your OBS broadcaster. So what you can do over here is essentially just turn down the volume to zero and kind of mute it. And then that should solve all your problems as far as that's concerned. Believe it or not, that's actually the number one issue for a lot of the echoey type of stuff in the background. I mean, aside from my one issue that we covered towards the beginning of this video, that's actually probably the first place I would look for a lot of the stuff that's kind of going wrong is to see whether or not your broadcasting window has actually re-enabled your volume here and there, which most of the time it doesn't. I mean, like 99% of the time it doesn't, but there's the off chance here and there that things get reset. So that's actually the first place I would look. But for a lot of you guys who are experiencing a lot of these issues, there are a lot of finicky things here and there with OBS. So if you have any other questions or anything, just let me know here and there in the comment section down below, and we'll try to answer those ones as best as we can. And that's it for today's video, guys. Again, it's a very, very quick video and whatnot, but at the same time, this this kind of issue that came up during my stream and whatnot, I felt the need to actually kind of put a video up there together just to make sure that if anybody else was having the same kind of issue here and there with OBS and their Elgato capture card, that we actually come up with a good fix here and there for a lot of you guys who are streaming. But until next time, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a like in this video and also hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications for all your anime jrpg and visual novel needs and i will see you guys soon in the next video take care you guys